So we have another Android 15 based custom room is here. This is Yap and many of you already know about this custom room, which this is Yap, which means yet another AOSP project. In case you don't know that this is yet another AOSP project. It's available from some time now and it's unofficial version. I tried it on Mi 11X. It is available officially, even officially for some of the devices based on Android 15, but which are the changes as compared to some other Android 15 based custom rooms for now I tried. Let's have a quick look at some of the things here. First one is the launcher. It's not pixel launcher anymore. It's Yap launcher. It brings you a little bit of extra options as compared to the normal pixel launcher. For example, the force themed icons option seems to be quite good. You also have the option to choose this background blur depth and the themed icons in the app drawer. These are some highlighted features, although in the upcoming updates, you will see more and more features. But for now, this is about the default launcher. Moving on to one more thing, if you move on to the notification section, you will find that we have this peak notification option available and also the notification headers. Some things are now actually renamed and of course, in call vibration options are present. It is not bringing you any specific hub for all the customizations, but we have a very useful kind of options in some of the subsections. You will find them very soon. Also, one of the main highlights of Android 15 is the private space. The good thing is it's available, but let me tell you one thing that private space actually works fine with the pixel launcher, because if you are not using, if you're using Android 15, not using pixel launcher, private space might not work for you. But in this case, private space is working, but there is an exception. There's a limitation. Let me tell you, firstly, let's just set up private space. And in case you don't know what is private space, it is basically similar to app cloner, similar to a work profile, or you can see the combination of work profile and app cloner. For basically for the stock Android users, if you're a Pixel device user using Android 15, this feature is one of the best ever features and I've already told you I'm even using that. Okay, so as you can see, private space setup is now done. Let me just open it once and as you can see, it's here, it's working fine, no issues in this case. So yes, that's completely fine. But here's a catch. For example, in the normal Android 15 Pixel Launcher, if you're a Pixel Launcher user, if you're using Android 15 with Pixel Launcher, what you can do is you can even lock this private space and you can also hide this private space. But as you can see, we do not have any option to hiding the private space. Maybe because it's available, maybe it is just in this custom room. Not so sure because it might be the issue with the launcher too. I just have to look it once, but for now, as you can see, I do not have the option for hiding the private space. And what that does is you can simply hide the private space. And then if you want to unhide it, you have to search it in the app door, but that option is not present in this case. Alongside with that, if you move on to something really amazing, which I found only in this one is move on to app info. As you can see, activate gaming macro for this app. And this is basically, in other words, is called gaming mode. You can say if I enable this thing and open this app, I'll see the notification here. And what that that notification is, it's regarding gaming macro. I have I have the option to configure it and you have a lot of options, a lot of tweaks which you can try out on a device. For example, what you can do, what you want to do, like heads up notifications, you can disable that. You also have the option choosing the power mode. You have the option to disable or the swipe to screenshot thing. These things are quite amazing, especially if you are a gamer, you might love these kind of things. Personally, I don't play games, so that might not be a big thing for me. If I move on to the app info option, you will see app archive option. In case you don't know, Android 15 brings you the option for app archiving. And yes, this is actually also a very useful thing. Click on the app or basically app archive option. The app will be archived. And then if you click on restore, of course, it depends upon the which kind of internet connection you are using. It will take some time and then it will start downloading on a device. And yes, it should work for you. As you can see, downloading is now started. Also, else we do not have any other options, any other configuration options, but we have few of the tweaks available in the status bar and quick settings panel. For example, status bar has the option to enable or disable some icons. You also have the option related to brightness sliders and quick settings panel have few of the things here and there. Definitely Android 15 based custom rooms are now giving you a lot of customizations too. Definitely with the stability is quite excited for these updates. So yes, this is it. Thanks for watching. Watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.